Hey YouTube, I Tech World 11 here with a video of the first of several videos to come about iOS 7 hidden features. And these aren't necessarily hidden features, there's features Apple didn't really talk about much in their WWDC 2013 keynote, and just features they don't really express to be that important, but I still find cool. So starting off with this list for number 10 would be the FaceTime application. Now normally FaceTime would be built into the phone applications on the iPhone, but now there is a um, select, there's a actual FaceTime app, which means it's easier for a lot of people to find FaceTime. Now, maybe not something super big, but I think it's still pretty cool. Number two would be the ability to call and text someone directly from the contact. Now, it's super easy. You can see if you have someone's phone number, you can just click the little phone dial, or you can FaceTime them or call them. And also down here, there's send message, share contact, and add to favorites at the bottom. And also in the messages app, you can quickly send them text messages and see their contacts just like that. A number three feature would be the spotlight search. So normally you swipe to the right and the first little uh, page would be the spotlight search. But now you just swipe down and you can search your device. You see just like that. And you can do it from any page. You just swipe down and you can get to it. Now to get out of it, you just tap anywhere or you can click search and you can get out of it. So I think it's a pretty cool feature. And number four would be the ability to put new stands inside a folder. So now you're not restricted to having new stand in just a regular application and having it take up a whole section for itself. Now it is a, you can put it inside a folder to get it out of the way for people who don't use it. Number five would be slide to power off. There's a new slide to power off now and it looks pretty cool. You see now there's just two bars, slide to power off and cancel. And you can just slide to power off just like that. And you can see it gets darker as you turn it. So that's a pretty cool feature right there. Number six would be hearing aid support. So if you go into settings and you go into general and accessibility, there is a hearing aid section, which then you can connect to Bluetooth. So you can wirelessly connect to your hearing aid with Bluetooth. So that's a pretty cool feature for those people who do have hearing aids. Now number seven would be government alerts and notifications. Now it may sound a little bit scary, but it's actually a pretty cool feature. Go to Notification Center, you can see at the very bottom, there's government alerts. So you can have amber alerts and emergency alerts. For instance, if the pollen is super high, or if there are any tornado warnings or something like that, or any safety threats, they will alert you and it will go into your Notification Center. Now, number eight would be in the weather application. You see, you can have all the different um, locations, New York, Cincinnati, Milford here. But if you didn't know, you can pinch and you can get a view of all of these in one list. You can also change between Celsius and Fahrenheit just like that and then you can just pinch out to go back to it or if you pinch back you can click on one to view it. So that's pretty cool. You can pinch to view all and everything that's a cool feature. Now, number nine would be the ability to close multiple apps in multitasking. So now you can do as many as you can fit. So you can do multiple apps by closing them at the same time by using multiple fingers. So you just swipe up like that and you can close them very simply. And finally, number 10 would be replacing the status bar icons with these little dots. Also, it's something that a little bit people will be able to understand better. Instead of having bars here, they just have those dots, and the shaded in ones are what you have, and the not shaded in ones, or the empty ones, are the missing bars. So right here, I have two out of five bars, which is about 40% service, which isn't great. But you can see right there, that's just something small, but it's cool and a better way to look at it, and a little bit different functional value too something as simple as this. So that's it, that's my 10 hidden features. I'll definitely be having more hidden features to come. Don't forget to check out my other iOS 7 videos and follow me on Twitter at itechworld11 and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.